Hello everyone, welcome to VMware Arena YouTube channel. If this is the first time you are watching video in this channel, please do subscribe to the channel and also click on the bell icon to receive the notification about the new videos which I am posting about VMware virtualization and other virtualization technologies. In this video, we are going to see how to create a NFS file share from a vSAN data store. In, a, in my previous video, I have explained how to configure vSAN file services in vSAN 7.0. So basically vSAN file services provide file serving service such as NFS on top of vSAN data store okay so if you didn't watch that video please do watch that video how to configure uh, a step-by-step -step procedure to configure on vSAN file services on vSAN cluster so in this video I'm going to explain you how to create a vSAN file shares on top of that vSAN file services which you have created so basically we can create an NFS shares uh, on top of the vSAN data store and uh, we can create both NFS version 3 and uh, version 4.0 sorry 4.1 so we can uh, mount that particular shares to the virtual machine or external physical servers or any other client system but that cannot be uh, that NFS shares cannot be used as an uh, NFS data store on the ESXA host to store the virtual machine okay so creating a file share is simple thing in this video I'm going to explain you how to create a file share and also how to mount that file share to any of the client system to consume the shares uh, the file shares which we have created okay so let's get started so we have enabled the file services in the uh, in my previous video so basically we have to, uh, go to a cluster and go to configure under the vsan option we see uh, services Okay, if I click on services, you can see my uh, vSAN file services, which has been enabled and I have configured the IP settings and uh, you can notice in the virtual machine vSAN file services um, uh, nodes are deployed on each of the ESXA hosts. All these things we can see. So if you can expand the file services, you can basically see uh, all the settings which we have uh, specified during the configuration stage which i did it in my previous video okay so file services is enabled let's create the file share under the vsan just click on file service shares okay so uh, it shows what is the domain the file services uh, domain and what is the file uh, protocol which is supported with this nfs3 and nfs4.1 and it shows primary ip just click on uh, create so provide the name for this particular uh, share okay so by default uh, uh, you know like nfs4.1 is uh, by default actually uh, protocol okay we can also select the storage policies so we can create one uh, for this particular file share we can apply and next one is a share warning threshold when share reaches this threshold a warning message will be displayed and we can also shed the hard quota uh, hard quota so this is a maximum size limit of the share so when share reaches this threshold uh, you know like um, a new block allocation will be denied here okay so i'm specifying 100 as uh, a hard quota and i'm specifying 80 as the hard limit and also we can give a label uh, so label is something like a key value pair so that helps us to organize the file share something like that okay so in my case i'm just uh, specifying department as hr so it helps me to organize which department this particular shares will be used by okay so next uh, in the control page so there are three options one is no access so this option no one can access from any ip addresses and another one is allow access from any ip just uh, that is open and next one is customized net access so you can give uh, access to specific uh, host okay so i am going to give so basically no access as I discussed so second one will be anonymous access so anyone can access and the other one is a controlled access so here we can specify an IP set or IP subnet or a single IP addresses okay so let me specify one of my server which is my vCenter server so I'm going to just mount this uh, NFS share on my vCenter server so I'm providing that IP address so we can also control the permission like read only read no access or read and write something like that so we can define the permission here okay so once IP address has been specified 
just click on uh, next or we can also add uh, additional IP address if you have okay just review all the settings which we have selected uh, the protocol what is the IP address uh, which can access the share all these things so in uh, you know a few seconds uh, the file share NFS file share will get created here So the task of create vSAN file share is successfully completed. Yes, the file share MD file share 01 is got created. It shows uh, what is the storage policy it is assigned, what is the label it has, on which host it is um, uh, currently on, and it also shows what is the warning quota, what is hard quota, you know, like usage, what is the utilization of the file share. All the information will be showing up here. Just to click on uh, that particular share. We can also uh, click on see under the label. We can see what is the department HR, the key label which we have specified. We can also copy URL. So basically, if you want to mount it as a NFS V3, we can just click on NFS V3. Or if you want to mount it as NFS 4.1, so we can also so just copy this connection string. So basically, this this one we are going to use it when we mount this particular share in uh, our client system okay so uh, uh, when you select click on copy URL NFS 4.1 so it will be copied so I just noted down that uh, URL in my notepad let's log into my vCenter server just consider it as a client okay not a vCenter any system any Linux system if you want to mount the procedure will be same so I'm going to create on uh, um, a directory first mkdir file share 01 uh, so I'm going to mount that particular NFS share under this particular directory. Okay. So just copy the connection string which we have copied and just add a mount in front of that. Okay. Just uh, mount and connection string and uh, uh, leave a space and slash file share 01 the, uh, the directory which we have created before. Okay. So I'm going to mount that NFS share under this directory. Uh, I think some typo just uh, exit from here. Let me retype it. Okay. Yeah. So mount. We have copied the con connection string from the vSAN interface and slash file set 01 under the directory. I'm going to mount that uh, file share. Okay. So mount is successfully completed. Just put df and h so we can see uh, MD file set 01 under the vSAN is got mounted under the file share 01 folder directory okay so we can just go inside the uh, directory we can uh, create any you know like test file or something like that just go to cd file share 01 okay we can uh, let's say final there is no file inside it we just created it fleshly and mounted here let me create one test file called touch demo.txt okay so we have successfully created the file inside the file share okay so this makes simpler so you know like if you want to um, provide nfs file share uh, for uh, the any client system which you want to consume so we can create an nfs file share uh, which is uh, on top of your vSAN data store and give the access to the client system or any physical machines or any server which need an NFS share. We can give this. So all the, you know, like um, availability options, we can also customize uh, the performance with the storage policies as like a vSAN objects. Everything can be performed here. So it's, it's simple in management. Uh, so we are going to make use of uh, our vSAN data store to provide an NFS uh, file share. So this feature NFS file share feature has been introduced in uh, vSAN 7.0 which is one of the new feature in vSAN um, 7.0 with the vSphere 7.0 release okay so I hope uh, this is informative for you so in this video we have explained how to create NFS file share uh, on top of uh, vSAN file services so we are going to consume the space out from the vSAN data store so we also seen how to copy the NFS connection string and we also explained uh, how to you know like mount that uh, NFS uh, file share which we have created on the vSAN data store to any of the client system and uh, we also try to create on files on the NFS share okay so we can create on multiple file share and give it give access to the different system so that a client system can uh, uh, mount that particular NFS share and uh, they can start consuming the NFS uh, shares as like uh, you do in other system and other NFS share. Uh, so it's also simple in management. Okay. I hope this is informative for you. Um, 
please do subscribe to the channel thank you so much stay safe bye bye